Hey guys, it's Mr. Walker here. Welcome to another math lesson with Mr. Walker. I'm not lifting weights today. I'm not drinking a ton of water today. I'm not running today. None of that crazy stuff today. We're just going to do some problem solving, all right? So we've learned at the expense of me and at the expense of my friend who was trying to get me in better shape, um, we learned a lot of things about uh, kilometers and meters and grams and milligrams and kilograms and <laughs> liters and milliliters and all sorts of stuff and now we're going to be combining that to do some problem solving okay which as you know is one of my absolute favorite things in the world so we're gonna be working on that today and actually our learning goal for today is to use addition and subtraction to talk to solve not to solve to solve multi-step word problems involving length mass and capacity so we have all those things going on today um, you're not going to need too much today we're going to need something to write on something to write with if you happen to have the problem set or a copy of the problem set that's awesome you can get that as well if not I'm going to be putting the problems up here so you can just write um, the kind of copy along or follow along with me and write it down in your paper so once you have those things ready to go uh, go ahead and uh, unpause this and we'll keep going All right, so the first problem we're going to be looking about is with Beth, my, my friend Beth here. She has potatoes. She bought some potatoes and they weighed 3 kilograms, 420 grams. Her onions, on the other hand, weighed 1,050 grams less than the potatoes. So how much did the potatoes and the onions weigh together? That's a, that's a lot, right? She must be making some uh, maybe onion and potato soup. I don't know. But she's got a lot of things going on here. We want to figure out how much did the potatoes and onions weigh together how much do they weigh together so I want you guys to take a second think about that see if maybe you could draw out a picture or sketch out something that represents these two uh, these two things or represents this problem and then we'll come back and talk about some ways that we can solve it all right guys so here here's where I started for this one I just had to sketch something out to see what I was looking at here and we know from the problem that it says Beth uh, bought potatoes that weighed three kilograms 420 grams so I drew that out I just drew a, a tape diagram here just a rectangle to represent the amount of potatoes she had which is three kilograms 420 grams the onions on the other hand it says the onions weighed 100 or 1050 grams less than the potatoes so we don't really know how much the onions weighs only that it weighs 1050 grams less than the potatoes so what we're gonna have to do is well what do you guys think we're gonna have to do how are we gonna solve this what solution do we need to use right subtraction we're gonna have to subtract first to figure out what the onions weigh because ultimately we want to know what these two weigh together if I just added that 1050 grams onto what I already have it's not really gonna tell me much of anything it's just gonna tell me like how much plus what I'm missing and that's not really what we're looking for we're looking at those together and since we don't know what the onions weigh we have to use what we know about the onions and that it's 1050 grams less than the potatoes so if we subtract that if we subtract that from the potatoes that'll tell us how much the onions weigh and then we can add the onions and the potatoes together to get our total at the end right so let's do that let's hook this up I'm gonna start by uh, writing out my three kilograms 420 grams and I'm going to subtract I don't know why I drew a Q and not a G let's try that again all right and I'm going to subtract that 1050 grams now I could uh, take that 1050 grams and I could convert it into one kilogram and 50 grams I could totally do that if that's one way I want to go I could also write it like this can write it this way as well so I'm just uh, comparing the grams to grams basically uh, either way whatever makes you more comfortable there and actually I'm gonna do it both ways and we'll see if we get the right the same answer in both so uh, 0 minus 0 is 0 I can't take 5 away from that 2 there so I'm gonna have to come over to this guy I'm gonna take 100 here and bring it over here as 10 tens which would now give me 12 tens 12 minus 5 would be 7 3 and then 3 minus 1 is 2 so it'd be 2 kilograms 370 grams all right so let's go through the other way I'm gonna rewrite it a little bit because it got a little messy down here so if we had and I think I was leaving out a zero or something so if I had 3 kilograms 420 grams and then we're gonna subtract basically the do 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 1050 grams from that 1000 50 grams from that so 
I know that, let's see, 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 2. Can't do that, so i got to come over here to the 4. There's a 3 there, and then this guy would be a 12. Here we go. Uh, so 12 minus 5 again would be 6. 3 minus 0 would be 3. Oh, 12 minus 5 wouldn't be 6, it would be 7. What am I doing here? <laughs> 12 minus 5 would be 7. 3 minus 0 would be 3. Now I have this issue here of this 1, and basically subtracting uh, that 1 from 0, which I can't do, so i got to come over this guy to here, uh, and then this would become a... So if I borrow from that um, kilogram here, so I'm not really bringing it over as a 10 per se, even though that's like commonly what we do. We're bringing it over as a, as, a, as a thousand grams. So this would be a one in a thousand because it's a 1,000 gram. So, right? so then one minus one is zero, and then we have the two kilograms out here. So we're getting the same answer, two different ways to go about it. A little bit tricky to think about in that way, but hopefully that's, that's kind of making some sense. So we're not done yet. Basically, this just tells us this two kilograms and uh, 350 or 370 grams is the weight of the onions. Two kilograms, 370 grams. That's how much the onions weigh. But we already have the potatoes as well. We want to know how much do they weigh together. So we're going to have to add those two up in order to figure out the final weight. So if we add that three kilograms, 420 grams, plus two kilograms, 370 grams, we're gonna get five kilograms, 790 grams. Straight up uh, adding there, nothing that needs to be regrouped or rebundled into different um, measurements or anything like that, we're good to go. So the potatoes and the onions weigh five kilograms, 790 grams. Excellent job, guys, excellent job. All right, let's take a look at this one with hello. From the other side, Miss Adele here, she let out 18 meters, 46 centimeters of string to fly her kite. All right. She then let out 13 meters, 78 centimeters before reeling it back in 590 centimeters. How long was her string after reeling it in? Whew, this sounds like a multi-step problem for sure. So I want you guys to take a stab at this, at least kind of diagramming it out, seeing what you think, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back together and talk about it and see what we get. All right, so here we go, guys. Here's how I, how I di diagram things out a little bit. So in the problem, it said that she let out 18 meters and 46 centimeters of string. That's what she did first, right? And then she let out another 13 meters, 78 centimeters, right? So that's how far it was out, like, to start. That's how much she let it out. But then she reeled it back in a little bit. It's 590 centimeters. What we want to know is, or what the question is asking us is, how long was her string after reeling it in? So what was left, right? What was still left out? What was the after? This is what we want to find, this piece right here. Okay, So there's a couple different ways we can go about doing this, as always. But what I'm thinking is, and what you guys might be thinking as well, is we need to combine these two first. We need to combine how much she let out at first to figure out how much she let out in total. Then we can subtract that 590 centimeters to figure out how much is still left, right? That should give us the total of, of how much she still has left after doing all of that. So one of the first things we could do, again, is add up those two. So we're going to add up the 18 meters 46 centimeters we're gonna add that to the 13 meters so I'm gonna go ahead and work it through up here you guys work it through as well and then we'll see what we get if I add these up I get um, 46 plus 78 is 124 centimeters 18 plus 13 is 31 meters now this 124 centimeters as we've seen in past lessons um, 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter so I could take out 100 of these centimeters it will give me 32 meters and then I would have 24 centimeters left over so I have basically um, the first time everything she let out here was 32 meters and 24 24 centimeters and then she reeled it back in some we know she reeled it back in so we got to figure out we got to take away what she reeled back in and that'll give us what's left so we're going to have to subtract that 590 centimeters from the 32 meters 24 centimeters that we have now if we look right away i know i'm not going to be able to take 590 away from 24 that's not going to work so i'm going to just preemptively i'm going to uh, go ahead and take one of those meters back and put it in my centimeters and actually you know what I'm, I'm like yes I don't want to give away too much right I want to give you guys a little bit of challenge here I'm gonna let you guys think about the best way to do this and I'm gonna do it my way and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll compare like our methods alright guys so here here's what I was thinking if I took even a meter 
from my 32 meters, made it 31 meters, and added 100 centimeters over here, I would just be back to 124 centimeters, which I still can't subtract 590 from. It's not enough, right? So what I did instead is I converted my 32 meters, 24 centimeters into 3,224 centimeters, right? It's the same thing. So I did that, and then I was able to subtract. Now I had to still do some uh, regrouping here in order to make it work, but I could subtract through, and I would get 2,634 centimeters. 2,634 centimeters. That's what would be left. Now if we look up in the problem, it's not asking us for the, our answers in centimeters or meters or anything like that. We could convert this though to 26 meters and 34 centimeters uh, if, we, if we wanted to. Uh, the reason I could convert it to 26 is because I'm looking at the hundreds place right here because groups of hundred is our um, conversion from meters to centimeters. There's a hundred centimeters in every meter. So 26 meters, 26 groups of 134 centimeters left over. So I could write it either way. Either answer would be okay, especially because it's not asking for our answer in a certain way. It's not asking for it in centimeters or meters, so we could write it either way. But um, regardless, you should have 2,634 centimeters or 26 meters, 34 centimeters as your answer. Whew. That was a tough one, couple steps in that guy. All right, let's try one more together, and then uh, I'm gonna let you guys try the rest on your own, okay? So this one I'm actually skipping down to the one about the pizzeria because I'm hungry and I can really go for a pizza. So this one says, on Thursday the pizzeria used two kilograms, 800, or 180 grams less flour than they used on Friday. On Friday they used 12 kilograms, 240 grams. On Saturday they used 1,888 grams more. On Friday, what was the total amount of flour used over the three days? Holy cow, my head hurts. That's a lot of stuff going on in this problem. So. This one definitely is going to be one of the problems that you're going to want to diagram out. Use a tape diagram, use something to help us organize this information, okay? So I'm going to go through the first step with you. Unless you feel comfortable to do it yourself, then you totally can. All right, so on Thursday, the pizzeria used 2 kilograms, 180 grams less flour than they used on Friday. So that's like less than something, so it's not giving us an actual amount. It says on Friday though they used 12 kilograms and 240 grams. So that's an actual amount that it's giving us. So I'm gonna go ahead and label Friday on here first. So let's see, Friday. And we know that they used, let's see, draw a rectangle here. Uh, they used 12 kilograms and 240 grams. All right, awesome. Still don't know what I'm doing with any of this information or anything yet. That's okay. I'm just kind of diagramming it out so I can visualize it better. All right. Um, on Saturday, they used 1,888 grams more than on Friday. So if I wanted to draw Saturday in now, I could definitely do that. So Saturday says they used more, so I'm going to draw that rectangle a little bit bigger. And we know that the more that they used was 1,000 888 grams more. All right, cool with that. I can go back to Thursday now, and it says it used less flour, less. Uh, so I'm going to draw Thursday in here as. Ooh, ooh. There we go. And actually, sorry about that. I want to draw this less, right? Because the problem said less. So I'm going to draw this rectangle a little bit smaller. And we know that it was, let's see, 2 kilograms, 180 grams less. 2 kilograms, 180 grams less, right? So we don't know what Thursday and Saturday's measurements were exactly. We know Fridays. Fridays is good. They gave us that. We don't know what the other ones are. So we're going to have to make some steps here or take some steps to figure out those other totals. For Saturdays, we're gonna to have to start with this base of Fridays and add this much more to it. For Thursdays, we're gonna to have to start with this base and subtract that much from it. And then we should be able to get our answer, which what they're looking for is the total amount, total meaning add over three days. I'm gonna let you guys do a little bit of work with this, then we'll come back together, um, compare what we have, and talk about our answers. All right, guys, this one was a thinker. 
Um, it wasn't too bad once we di diagrammed it out and knew what we had to do, but there was a lot of steps involved in this, in this one. A lot of addition, a lot of subtraction, uh, a, a lot of stick to if you will. You had to keep going with this one. So here's what I got. I moved my chart over here so we could see this is what we started with Friday, Saturday, and Thursday, right? And we knew the differences, and Friday was the only like solid amount of, of data that we had. So to find Saturdays, I had to take what they had on Friday and do 1,888 grams more. So I went ahead and added that. And when I added it, I got 13 kilograms, 1,128 grams. And then I took 1,000 of those grams out and added it to my kilograms that I already had and ended up with 14 kilograms, 128 grams. So that's what we got there for Saturday, all right? And then came over here to Thursday, which was less, two kilograms and 180 grams less. So I subtracted, okay, 12 kilograms and 240 grams minus two kilograms and 180 grams. Subtracted that through and I ended up with 10 kilograms and 60 grams. This one was nice because we didn't have to do too much group uh, regrouping between the kilograms and the grams, which was kind of cool. So ended up with that, that answer there. And then to get our final answer, which was how much did they use over the three days, we had to add up those three amounts, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Add those up and you should get a grand total of, drum roll please, 36,428 grams or 36 kilograms, 428 grams. That's a lot of flour. So easy enough to find that once you kind of map things out and knew where to go. It's all stuff that we've done before, all strategies that we've used. We just kind of had to use them all together in this problem. So I need a break. This was a lot, right? You guys probably need a break too. So take a stretch break, do whatever you need to do, and then practice with this some more. You got a couple more problems on that problem set you can uh, fill out, uh, figure out, solve them. If you're not sure on any of them, you know, reach out to me, teacher, learning guide. Um, if you don't have those problems, let me know. We can get you a copy one way or the other. But I do thank you guys for playing along with me, having some fun, doing some problem solving. This, uh, this whole workout unit, uh, learning about these different uh, weights, uh, capacity, lengths, measurements, all those things is, is kind of wore me out. So I think I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna go take a nap for a few days and then, uh, then we'll get back to it. So let me know if you need anything, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll, we'll talk to you soon.